Welcome, everyone. Archangel here. So, gentlemen, you need to know the truth about your environment, the essentials. What I tell you will fly in the face of all the noise you hear about females being oppressed by males. But reality is far different than you think. First off, as a male, you must understand you are deemed expendable for female protection because of reproductive imperatives and either sex's anatomical roles in procreation. Hence, unable to gestate life, it is the male who is thus deemed disposable. Next, since male disposability is unfair and we are a collection of societies based upon morality, in order to morally justify the inequity of mass expendability, you, the male, are socially culturally devalued to the lonely repute of villainous beasts that deserve lesser value consideration in different usage and mistreatment. Female welfare at male's expense. This is called gynocentrism. It is fact. Now, pay attention. What you need to understand is that it doesn't matter if you believe any of this or not. It doesn't matter if you disbelieve male-female relations as a barter of affection for provision. It doesn't matter if you truly believe that soulmates in love are real and not simply chemical cocktails of excitement and bonding released during courtship rituals between opposing sexes. It doesn't matter your beliefs or your opinions regarding either sex's social standing. It doesn't matter your opinions on patriarchy, feminism, religion, marriage. What you believe is irrelevant because you will meet the business end of male devaluation in the form of force. You can either heed red pill truths or find out gynocentrism is reality by force of authority. You need to understand that everybody is against you. You do not have privilege. You, as a male, are seen as the dregs of humanity. And you can disagree with me all you want, but you will find out the truths of which I speak through the physical force of fellow males and government. The system is against you. Women see you as hygienically intellectually challenged rapists, murderers, plunderers who cause nothing but destruction and oppression of females. So they will treat you with disdain or smile sweetly as they use you for utility. And males are against you. Males quarrel and compete with each other. The majority of males are vagina-begging female doormats. And so they will jump in to force you to behave a certain way or to trespass your rights as they protect females. These are white knights who apply physical force for female welfare. But essentially, you need to understand the governing bodies of the land. Governments are against you. You might be the type who rests easy in his lounge chair recounting the liberties, rights, and constitutional entitlements that protect you. But the truth is, you are exposed, unprotected against a system that upholds your abuse. No matter what you believe, politically, religiously, socially, culturally, you, the male, are expendable and your devaluation is ultimately enforced by force of government. The law, lawmakers, judges, lawyers, courts, law enforcement, all agencies favor female interests at the expense of male rights, liberties, and basic human decency. Understand, the entire system favors females, from government to media to entertainment to corporation or employment. Everything favors females over you, and you need to understand that the system, entertainment, media, religion, corporation, and most importantly, government are against you as a male. Believe it. Now, indeed, you may claim legal variations between counties, between states or provinces, or between countries. And yes, my experience has been within the U.S., but I assure you that governments around the world are male abusive. You can point to outliers, exceptions where a specific incident, law, or legal ruling favored a male. But these are outliers which do not constitute the mean of the general population. Males as a collective entity trail females as a collective entity in worth and rights. Guys, the government will enforce your disposability and demoted liberties when push comes to shove. The law protects females, not you. If you take nothing else from this message, myself or MGTOW, then understand the establishments of society and government are based upon male consumption, 
Governments are against you as a male, and if you choose to look, you will find that females have more rights, entitlements, and courtesies, despite all the male oppression patriarchy propaganda. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Put these truths to the test. If you think male welfare has equity under the law, or that the government is a friend to males, then take a look at the sentencing differentials and precedents set between men and women for the same crime. If you think law enforcement does not have prejudicial mandates against you as a male, then see who the cops antagonize in a domestic disturbance where both a man and woman exchange hostilities. If you think the legal system is a friend to males, see what happens when a female merely calls the cops and accuses you of something, anything, abuse, rape, assault. Furthermore, observe the response when a male reports female abuse or assault. If you think the law is fair to males, go ahead, get married, pop out a gaggle of kids, then get divorced, and see what rights you have to your own offspring. See how fair the legal system is when they leverage your kids against you, or order you to hand over assets, including future earnings, to a female that uses this super equitable, fair legal system to enforce her welfare over yours. The government is male abusive, as are your fellow males. If you think males will not white knight and use force against you, just watch what happens when a male goes to retaliate after being hit by a female. If you think males will not enforce expendability on you, just watch what happens in emergency situations. See who gets the last parachute. Observe who will physically restrain you or threaten you with deadly force to forego your welfare as females board the life raft of the sinking ship. If you think you are protected by laws of fairness and equity, you are sadly mistaken. Your Y chromosome earns you a demotation in basic life value. You do not have to believe me or anything I say. Put your male privilege to the test and you will see that the government enforces gynocentrism on you. Obviously, you are free to believe anything you want, that guys run the world, have privilege, and that traditional conservatism is the best way to raise kids, or that feminism is benevolent. They just want equality between men and women. You can believe that Bugs Bunny is really a turtle, and that leprechauns live under your bathroom sink. Yet I speak honestly, without subterfuge. Males are devalued and disposable, and all aspects of society will enforce your mistreatment. I am trying to elucidate to males reality far beyond agenda weaponized fairy tales or male villainy propaganda. Because no matter what you think or believe, what you can depend on is that when push comes to shove, you, as a male, will be discarded before females. And you either learn this the easy way with MGTOW messages and the research and experiences of others, or you will find out the hard way when you are on the business end of a law enforcement and judicial system that enforces your mistreatment, despite all the rights, liberties, and equality claptrap that everybody salutes with sparklers on patriotic holidays like July 4th. Gentlemen, Heed me now or find out the world is gynocentric when you are in the back of a squad car, in family court, or aboard the sinking ship. Gynocentrism, which is the prioritization of female welfare, this reproductive-inspired paradigm would not have any traction or teeth. Gynocentrism would not affect males if it was not enforced. And so you can believe whatever patriarchal androcentric boys club lullaby you want you will find out that the world is gynocentric and you as males are disposable utilities, stepping stones, support structures for female welfare. And you will find this out firsthand when it is enforced on you by the government or anonymous white knights. Boys need to understand that this existence is pitted against them, their welfare and interests. I need males to understand that the system is against them so that they might empower themselves and avoid, as much as possible, the dangers, pitfalls, and parasitism of a world that abuses males under the guise of male oppression, patriarchy, and extravagant, unchecked privilege. But hey, if you know better than MGTOW that females care about male welfare, that guys are treated equally, that exceptions are the norm because your religion or parents or teachers or friends tell you that males have equitable worth and value compared to females, then again, put it to the test.
Apply for a position or grant against a female. See what happens. If you think your life is as worthwhile as any random females, watch what happens to males and females during times of war. Males are conscripted by government, forced to die, and females are not. If you think the corporate world is male favoring, just see what happens if you say one ill word about females or a co-worker makes an accusation against you. Watch the trial and judgment in the minds of people when a female accuses a male, any male, of anything. If you think there is social equity, observe people jump all over themselves to assist females with luggage and doors. Meanwhile, the general populace turns a deaf ear to male cries and a blind eye to male suffering behind cardboard signs on the street corner. If you think males enjoy equal protection under the law, look at who we routinely cut up in the birthing centers of hospitals. It surely is not females. You see, it is males who allow and enforce male mistreatment. Gynocentrism would have no teeth if no one enforced female elevation. But you need to understand, there are enforcers everywhere in the form of individually brainwashed white knight males and in the ultimate form of government. Government enforces your mistreatment. Gentlemen, you need to understand this. The government is the enforcer of your abuse. This is where the rubber meets the road. And the abstraction of gynocentrism becomes a reality, despite your contrary beliefs, opinions, or disagreements. On paper, the idea that we enjoy a festival of rights, liberties, and justice for all, this is warm and cozy. However, the legal and judicial system has twisted into an institution of injustice and male abuse. Abuse influenced largely by male villainy propaganda, which is the campaign to devalue males in order to morally justify their disposability. Devaluing males as evil, stupid, cumbersome rapists, murderers, and plunderers is crucial to enforce their expendability, and nothing, not even the safeguards set in place by constitutional forefathers to ensure against corruption, these checks and balances have been breached into allowing males to be violated in family court or in domestic disputes or in the public employment arena. These checks and balances meant to uphold equality and prevent corruption of governing power. These safeguards have been breached and we now occupy a society where we defy the rights of the most helpless and cut their genitalia upon birth. Why would you assume the law treats adult males any better? Do not assume that the law or government has your best interests in mind as a male. They do not. Male against male in court may deliver some sort of justice, but when judicial systems weigh female welfare against male welfare, males will nearly always lose by default in a system that preaches equity and fairness for all. That is the malicious irony. This corruption is allowed because males enforce it and nobody rebukes it. Yes, there are many people who see the female elevation male devaluation paradigms, but nobody wants to stick their head on the chopping block for male welfare. Everybody is too scared of social or legal consequence. People are too scared to address, let alone change, a system that usurps male rights to enrich and elevate female welfare with. This is why MGTOW says, walk away. The system is broken, it cannot be fixed, and the general populace lacks the will to try. So the best thing a male can do for his own welfare is to reject the institutions that will place the male within the crosshairs of a legislative and judicial system that abuses males, the very same males begging for mercy from a control system biased against them. Rejecting society means you reject any situations where it is your welfare against a female's because you, the male, will be expendable every time. This translates to do not get married because this places you straight in the graces of the government empowered to force you against your will. Do not cohabitate because this, again, will place you in greater odds of oversight by the government that favors females when any question of domestic or asset dispute arises. But the best way to avoid blatant governmental or white knight abuse is to avoid female interaction as much as possible.
This is all that MGTOW espouses. Reject that which will compromise your welfare and anything involving females or government. This will mitigate mistreatment and parasitism as much as possible in an environment where you still have to interact with an entire system pitted against you, your hopes, dreams, and welfare. When you truly understand these truths, you will see that male empowerment did not form out of nonsensical thin air. Gynocentrism is well understood, and the advice to limit female interaction is sound, since the more you interact, the more you expose yourself to female manipulation and governmental enforcement. Nobody has your back. You are alone, and you exist in an environment that brainwashes and shames you into formal relations with females in order that they may legally control you, your actions, and your material assets. Indeed, your very behaviors. A place where fellow males see you as competition, whom they are more than willing to sabotage simply to receive female praise. Gentlemen, one last time, understand. The government and laws are against you. All the equality and justice for all rhetoric is simply baloney, hiding a system of male usury. You can pretend all you want that this is a lie, that MGTOW are crazy, and you are safe interacting with females under our fair, equitable, God-inspired laws. But you will find out how right we are when you are forcibly disadvantaged by the very institutions you once held as bastions of liberties. You can believe male privilege, patriarchy, good old boys club fairy tales, all you want, but you can, are, and will be profiled as a male, suspected as a male, guilty until proven innocent as a male, blamed for everything as a male, your dignities and worth trespassed as a male, and ultimately you will find yourself expendable as a male, no matter what you think or believe. Yes, this is a sad state of affairs, and I do not like to be the peddler of unpleasant messages. But this is how it is. It doesn't matter how things used to be. This is the state of affairs currently on planet Earth. It is better to be overly cautious than caught unaware. So, my friends, you either take the red pill and the unpleasant trip down the rabbit hole of gynocentrism now, or you will find out the hard way that liberty and justice for all does not include you, after you have been chewed up and spit out by an entire system that does not care about you, because you are simply utilities for female sustenance and societal maintenance. My friends, hear the call to greatness. Stand with me, live free.